In this video, I want to show you how to reset the position number one station on your turret um, when you get a Fuji alarm on your inverter for the turret servo. So if you look in the back of the electrical cabinet, you have a Fuji inverter, which is this type here is an RYG 0.50 HA RP unit. So normally you'll have alarms here if there's something wrong with the unit. In that case you want to make sure you know what that is before you uh, try to do this procedure and get that fixed if there's something wrong with it. So this is a normal state. It's Got the green lamp on. There's no alarms. So let's uh, reset position one. First thing you want to do is, you know, cycle power, turn it off and on, and zero return all the axes. So this has already been done. We got X, Z, and B has been returned. And you want to be in the uh, your zero return, go into your MDI mode. And now you have to turn on your parameter right enable, which is in your offset setting key. So if you press that, well, now you're in your geometry offset stuff. Well, you don't want that, hit it twice, or press the setting soft key. Now uh, you're in your setting area and you can set your parameter right enable. So make that a one. And you'll get that alarm, the 100 parameter right enable, just says you have your enable alarm and you could change parameters which could get you into trouble. So we'll ignore that. And then we're going to go to the system hard key. And now we're up to, well, a lot of times you may end up here with the parameter setting area. And you're going to want to go to PMC and PMC parameter, soft key. Now you're going to want to get into the keep relays. So that is your keep relay soft key. Now, the maintenance mode, you're going to want to be, uh, you want keep relay 3, bit 6, second from the left, you make that a 1, input, and then 16 bit 3 on this particular machine. Make that a one. Now this is the maintenance mode for the turret area. Now you'll see you have a NC alarm and a machine alarm because you have this in maintenance mode. So now the next thing to do is we want to make the parameter rate enable back to a zero. and press reset. Now, with that done, you're going to be in jog mode. You want to be in jog mode. And when you press the turret index button, all it does, the turret will not index, but it'll unclamp. So when I press the turret index button, it unclamps. So if you press it back and forth, it'll go in and out, in and out. That's normal. So with it unclamped, now we want to rotate the turret at least one time around to station one. And that is done by pressing on this machine the spindle inching button, which is right here. 
So when I press that, we get rotation, but I don't want to go backwards. I'm going to go forwards. You can press the reverse, and that'll get it going the other way. I'm going to press it forward and go to position one. Now, I, this one, I haven't gone quite around one. I'm going to go around more than one, so that's not going to hurt it. It's, at least you know you're doing it at least one time. And we'll go around, go around, and get to station one. Now, what you do is try to line up your coolant hole in the back of the turret there, the little nozzle. And that'll be pretty close to center line. Okay, we'll get in there. We'll try to move that around a little bit. And now try clamping it. Well, that wasn't very smooth. It's a little bit. A little bit much. There you go. So now we've clamped up. But you want to check the diagnostics to make sure that your clamp signal is there. So you go back into system, PMC diagnostics, status. And on this particular one, the X1003 bit 5 needs to be a 1. So if you unclamp it, it goes off, clamp it, it comes on. So that's good. Now it's not always the same on every machine. You have to look this up in your electrical schematic or your ladder diagram to find that signal. So once that's done now, we went around once and clamped to go back into MDI mode. And let's teach it position one. So let's go to tool 0101 and the block insert. And the cycle start. Now the lamp should go on and off. Lamp should go on and off. The cycle start. And it does. So that means it was memorized to the turret. So now the next thing we want to do is get rid of our heap relays that we turned on from before. So we need to go back into the offset setting key and turn on our parameter right enable. Make it a 1 again. We get our alarm. We go back into the keep relays. System key, PMC parameter, keep relay. And we turn off keep relay 3 bit 6, make that a 0, and 16 bit 3. Those are both the zeros, so you've turned off your maintenance mode. Now you want to go back into your offset setting key and turn off your parameter right enable, make that a 0. Press reset. Now if you look, we don't have any alarms, and you can test the turret now by going into your MDI mode and call up a different station, for instance, tool 5. Press cycle start, and it went. You can go back and make sure it goes to station 1. Oh, that's working. So that's a basic rundown of doing the resetting position with keep relays. So if you have any need for Fuji cert, turret servo repair, troubleshooting, you know, give us a call. You can uh, email us at sales at cncdigital.com or go to our website www dot cncdigital.com. That's it. Thank you.